and then we're going to sew two of those bags together to form one side and then we'll form we'll sew all four bags together to form a bag it's easy Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Karen Karen and today I want to talk to you about plastic. Yes, we get so many of these plastic bags because this is what we use for the bunny litter. We use um, hardwood pellets and so these uh, bags we, we um, use maybe two, two of them a month or something like that, two or three a month. So I have so many of these bags and I don't know what to do with them. So I also need bags to collect cans and bottles in, so, or when I give them to the cat shelter here in Camrose. So my idea is to take these bags, cut them apart, sew them together to make bigger bags so that they can be reused. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to cut up these bags and then sew them and make usable bags that I can use for um, paper for um, cans and bottles, something so I can reuse these bags. So that's what today's video is all about. Okay, step one is to cut the top of the bag. This is where I cut it to get the pellets out. So I'm going to make that into a straight line. So this will have to be recycled. And then I'm going to cut it down one seam. And then I'm going to cut it down the bottom seam. Plug in my hair. Okay, now, I thought I might have to wash these, but these are looking pretty clean. See? Look how clean that is. So now I have a bunch more bags, so I just need to cut all of these bags up. So these are blowing away, so I need to, um, you know, just put them there so they don't blow away. So I can also turn it and sew it so that this is on the inside and this is on the outside too. So I could have white bags instead of uh, wood pellet bags. Oh, it's getting too windy out. When I started this, it was not this windy out. All right, so I brought all the bags inside and I still need to cut a good portion of them. So I just got a wet cloth now, and now I'm just going to wipe it, wipe them down. This one still needs a bit of a cut on the corner here. There we go. All right, and then I'll just lay it over the chair and let it dry. It should dry pretty quickly. We're going to let them, yeah, they were pretty dirty, so I'm glad I washed them. So that, now we'll take them and I'm going to sew them together here to make one long piece like that. So these are going to be pretty big bags and then, then I'll sew another piece that will attach to each of the sides. So these bags are going to be really big but I think that's good because cans and bottles need that extra space. All right, let's, we'll let these dry first and then we'll get it out. All righty, so I've decided that I'm going to use the white as the inside. So this is the wrong side. So I'm going to take two pieces of this and I'm going to put the white sides together because they're the wrong sides. And I'll keep the outside of the pellet bag out because it's kind of decorative. And then I'm just going to sew along this top edge to make one side of the bag. All right, so we're here at the sewing machine and I think I'm going to make a pretty thick hem, like about a half an inch hem. Uh, three quarters, half inch, there we go. Put my needle down. All right, and I just have to make sure that I line up this plastic 
Yes, you can sew plastic. So all the seams are sewn on the bag and now I just need to turn it inside out to make a huge garbage bag or bottle bag. I think disposable um, or uh, uh, emergency um, raincoats out of this too. Okay, there we go. There is a super duper big bag to use for garbage or for cans and bottles to take to the recycling depot. Okay. There, that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and share me with a friend because you know I'd love to meet them.